Hi, and welcome to 5-Minute Statistics for Clinical Research. My name is Caroline Herborn, and I am part of the Biostatistics team at GCP Service International. Counting variables, such as, for example, the recruitment for a clinical study, the number of adverse events, or the number of children in the family, can be estimated based on the Poisson distribution. In today's video, we want to discuss what the Poisson distribution is used for and what the advantages of it are. The Poisson distribution is modeling the number of events within a defined time interval or area. For events that occur independent of the time since the last event and with a non-constant probability to occur. In case two groups should be compared, the success probability should be similar in both groups. It is a univariate discrete distribution. Since the expected value and the variance are identical, only one distribution parameter is necessary to know the distribution. The primary example of the use of the Poisson distribution in clinical trials is to model the recruitment of patients in the planning phase of a study. Let's assume 200 patients have to be recruited in a multi-center trial from five sites. When designing the study, it can be of importance to predict the recruitment time and efficiency. As this can have consequences, for example, on the drug supply to the different study sites to meet the patient's demands. Or in case an interim analysis is planned, it can have an impact on the power of the statistical test. Poisson regressions allow for dependent variables to be censored at zero and allow for non-continuous dependent variables, but the variance must be equal to the mean. If the variance is higher than the mean, the Poisson distribution has a lower variance than the actual data and is therefore not reflecting it accurately. For the graphical presentation of the Poisson probability distribution function, only bar graphs are valid since the distribution is discrete. Joining the values to a complete function is not applicable in discrete definition areas. Probability distributions help you decide the probability of a future event. Here we can see three examples of probability distributions for different lambda, where lambda can be directly interpreted as the number of events that are expected, for example, in a certain time frame. It becomes clear that with increasing number of events, the Poisson probability distribution more and more approximates a normal distribution. From a number of roughly 30 events per interval, a normal distribution is therefore a more feasible approximation to use the advantages of the normal distribution, which we have shown in a previous video. So that is it for today. As you can see, the Poisson distribution can be very helpful in estimating unpredictable events such as recruitment of patients in a certain time frame in the planning phase of a clinical trial. This can have positive preventive impact on the statistical considerations and the logistical aspects of the study. If there are any additional questions, our team of statisticians is happy to help you out. Leave us a message at statistics at gcp-service.com or leave a comment below. If you are significantly satisfied with the content, make sure to subscribe to not miss the next video.